the Grand Island Hastings and Carney Local Forecast with meteorologist Kit Kloniger. Well, it's certainly been a beautiful day today. Nice and warm, about 10 degrees above average for this time of year for the Tri-Cities area. A little bit cooler in the Lincoln area, around 70 degrees and much warmer off towards the west. We're looking west here from the KSME studios over some fields north of Hastings here. So cornfields all nice and ready to be harvested out there. We'll be talking about that with Tim here, here in just a few minutes. But let's go ahead and get a preview of the seven-day forecast because we've got a couple of fronts coming through for the next four days or so. The first one we see Friday night into Saturday. Notice the temperature difference about 10 degrees or so dropping as we head into the weekend. We've got about a 30% chance of some showers rolling through overnight. We'll change from warm to more mild sunny weather as we head into Saturday. Then Sunday night into Monday, we've got another cold front coming through. This one's going to be a fairly strong cold front and we'll see those temperatures dropping down into the 50s, lows into the 30s. But notice on Monday, we're going to have wind gusts up to around 40 miles an hour or so, and we could be looking at some morning time thunderstorms rolling through. So we'll keep an eye on that as we head into the weekend. But overall, most of the days are going to be rather dry, and we'll see more mild seasonal temperatures as we head into next week. Winds right now are coming out of the south around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Some gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour, especially off towards the west part of the state. But overall, bringing in nice warm air to the area. Temperatures like we saw earlier, 85 for Ogallala and Imperial, 83 in McCook. It cools the further east you go. Mid 70s here in the Tri-Cities and even off towards eastern Nebraska, some mid 60s right now. We'll see the temperatures moderate a little bit as we head into tomorrow. But the dew points right now, very dry to the west, still fairly dry here in the Tri-Cities area. And that's where we find Tim Jones, who's out in the field, talking about how nice and dry it's been recently, even though it's been a very wet year. Tim, how's harvest been going, given the wet year that we've had so far? Well, like, like I mentioned at the top of the, of the newscast kit, just like the all of 2019, it's been an up and down year, and that's the way harvest has been. But you know what? The wind has been our friend here, uh, especially off and on the last week or so. As soon as we dried out, those strong winds, you know, the wind doesn't help our golf game, doesn't help playing frisbee, and just being outside is pesky. But for here, for us in the field, it's drying out the beans, drying out the corn. And in the last week, the corn has really turned. When we started harvest a few weeks ago, we actually had still some green left uh, in the stalks. But as we've gone over this dry period over the last week, the corn has really turned yellow. And it's just perfect uh, for for harvesting. We're picking corn today, as a matter of fact. And we started at 6.30 this morning. Now, when we started harvest a few weeks ago, the moisture content in this corn in the area of Fillmore County was about 23%. That's pretty wet. Today, the corn that we're picking is down to about 16%, which isn't quite ideal, but it's uh, much, much closer to where we need it to be. About 15 or so, 15 and a half is ideal, give or take. But we have dryers here uh, that'll get that uh, corn dried out. So let's take a look at humidities because a lot of farmers are still uh, in the need to get in the field and cut beans. And it's all about the beans and getting that out because the corn can leave. But as we get over the next uh, 24 to 36 to 48 hours, as usual, the uh, humidity levels will be a little higher in the morning. But then we'll start to dry out as we get uh, through the day. But overall, conditions are great for cutting beans as well as for picking corn. So uh, in Fillmore County, it's not an issue at all. As uh, we're getting that corn dumped into me right now from my uh, combine, we're getting ready to make the turn. We're going southbound, and now we'll be coming back to the northbound. And then after that, we'll be dumping in a semi here waiting on this north side of the field. Kent, we'll send it back to you, buddy. All right, thank you, Tim. And as he's saying, we're going to have those up and downs of those dew points over the next couple of days. But whenever we have some rain showers coming through, that's going to uh, get that humidity up just a little bit. Over the day today, we've seen some clouds increasing across our area. So that's going to filter out some of the sunlight tonight. That's ahead of some showers we'll see overnight tonight. We see that coming from the west here in Futurecast. There's that front coming through right along that front and south of it. We'll likely see some heavier rain showers. Most of it's going to be south into Kansas and far southeastern Nebraska. As we head into our Saturday, maybe a little bit more of a southerly breeze, but it's not going to be as uh, as far fetched as it is today as we have that cold front coming through. Looking at forecasted lows overnight tonight, we're only getting down to around 50 degrees here for the Tri Cities. Through the day tomorrow, though, we are warming up nicely into the mid 60s to upper 70s across the majority of the area. But looking into the forecast highs across the rest of the state, cooler air that's going to be coming in as we head into the weekend. So tomorrow looks like it'll be our last day in the 70s for a while. Stick around. We've got more news coming up after the break on Local 4.